Hey guys, JNM here with a new video about a feature in Blender 2.8, a new toolbar with icons. The version I used for this video can be downloaded here from the latest Blender build page, the link is added to the description and I'm using the one for Windows 10 64-bit. So let's get started with this project in which I created this well and here on the left side you can see the new toolbar with the icons. Each item has an overlay, a tooltip and some of the items have a small arrow in the right corner. For these items you can press the mouse button, hold it down and sub-items will appear like for the selection. The default is the border select but there's also circle and lasso selection. I'm here in object mode and when I select an item, for example move, then the gizmo is appearing and I can move the object. It's just like pressing the G key, which by the way, works as before. For the scale tool they added a new feature, there is still the good old scale gizmo, but another option is now the scale cage for which you can define from which 3D point you want to scale. Very useful, but now let me switch to edit mode and then you can see that the toolbar is changing. We have more options now to work with vertices, edges and faces. Let me show you a few of them, for example Extract Region. The behavior is different to Blender versions before 2.8 because the action is not applied when you select it. It is more like a mode and when you press the left mouse button in the viewport, the action is applied to the selected parts. So this is for the toolbar items, a new interaction concept. Let me show you this here for the inset, you can select the face and then press the left mouse button and move the mouse and you add the inset to the face. And you can do this as often as you like, as long as the action is selected. But having an item selected doesn't affect the shortcut keys. Here for instance I have the bevel selected, but I can still press the E key for example to extrude this face. Or press the G key to move the face around and then X, Y or Z to constrain it to a certain axis or press the S key to scale, everything works as in previous versions. So what are my thoughts about this? Well, the first thing I thought was that this is a lot of space wasted, right? But look at this, you can kind of collapse this toolbar, either to two columns or just to one. So that's a quite good solution once you got used to the icons and their meanings, but I really would appreciate to have the possibility to configure these items even more. For example, hide the icons completely or define the height of the toolbar items, something like that could be added for instance to the interface section of the user preferences. So guys, that's it again for me, it's great fun to see how Blender 2.8 develops. If you like this kind of videos, please let me know, don't forget to subscribe and if you want to help my channel grow, please support me on my Patreon. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon on JNM.